It's Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month! Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Gnome Creations, and I'm Nova. And today is Gnome of the Month. Gnome of the Month. So welcome to December's Gnome of the Month. You guys have already seen my gnome this month and you can see him peeking in the camera uh, because I did a crochet along for a Santa gnome. Uh, I used velvety yarn and I was like, you guys can use whatever yarn you want to. He came out super cute in velvety yarn though and I think at least some of you guys were wanting to make him out of velvety yarn and I know I have at least one person who sent in pictures already of their Santa gnome. So super exciting. Um, I was just going through this morning and searching out the gnome of the month uh, taglines or uh, subject lines in my email. So super excited to get all of those in there. You guys did fantastic on your gnomes this month. So many cute gnomes. Uh, if this is your first time here, welcome. This is our Gnome of the Month video, our second Gnome of the Month video. So in each month, we have two Gnome of the Month videos. We have one on the first Saturday of the month where I just talk about what my plans are. I'm like, hey, I'm thinking about making this pattern or hey, I'm thinking about making a crochet along and making something like this or whatever the plan is. Um, and then we come back the last Saturday of the month, which this month, it just so happens to be the last day of the month, and show the finished gnome. But I don't just show my finished gnome, I show your guys' finished gnomes. So you guys are totally welcome to send them to my email at any point during the month. Just make sure you put in the subject line, uh, gnome of the month, because what I did is I just search gnome of the month in my email, in my inbox, and I will look for any scent in this whole entire month, and I'll go in there and I'll get the pictures out. So, <clears throat> even if you want to send it tomorrow for, for January's gnome of the month, that's totally fine. Um, and you are welcome to send in as many gnomes as you make. So, if you make a whole bunch of gnomes, you can send in a whole bunch of gnomes. Totally up to you. Um, I hope you guys are doing well today. I hope that everybody is fighting off the sickness. If you are sick, I hope that you're taking time to rest and drink fluids. And if you're not sick, yay, stay that way. Let's stay healthy. Let's try to ring in the new year and uh, have a good year. So let's try to ring in the new year healthy and have a good year. But if you're not, I am here with you and I am giving you hugs and love and warm beverages, whatever your preference is, and fuzzy socks and comfy blankets and get well soon wishes, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump into Gnome of the Month. So if you haven't seen him already, bum ba da bum my gnome of the month this month is this super plushy velvety santa so here he is and he is super squishy super soft and there is a crochet along tutorial if you guys would like to make your very own uh, i will link that down in the description box i know christmas is over but that doesn't mean you can't make a santa gnome um, <clears throat> I have a five part, uh, crochet along. So what I did was every day of the week, Monday through Friday that week, I came back on and we worked on the next part of the gnome. So it's broken down into really digestible bits. And, um, I went through and explained how to do everything and walked you guys along through the process and you guys can have your own gnome, Santa gnome. I love him so much. Um, I'm just so happy with how he came out, and I even put a little Nova Gnome Creations tag. Try to focus it for you. <clears throat> I even put a little Nova Gnome Creations tag. So he's fancy and adorable. And his hat can either stand up or, because it's velvet yarn, it's completely um, shapeable. So you can flop it down. You could flop it to the back if you wanted to. You could do whatever you want with it, but I like it standing up. So very poseable. Um, I love his chunky chenille beard or chunky velvet yarn beard. He's got little thumbs. I literally love him so much. He's so squishy. So 
to give you some info on this gnome for gnome of the month. Uh, this is my own pattern. I made a crochet along tutorial, which I will have linked in the description box. Uh, at some point, I will work on a written tutorial for him this year um, and get that up on Etsy. But for now, he has a crochet along tutorial. So if you would like to do that, you may go ahead. Um, I used almost all Premier yarns for this, which was just kind of a coincidence. And I just want to tell you for like accessibility purposes, guys, you are not tied down to using one type of yarn. For one, you don't even have to use velvet yarn. Two, uh, you do not have to use a specific brand of yarn. So, um, I happen to use, uh, Premier Retro Velvet yarn for the black, oops, that's not the black, for the black, which was the shoes and the belt. Um, and then I used Premier Retro Velvet in Ruby for all of the red and Cascade, which is the beard color. These were all Premier Retro Velvets, um, but I actually used uh, Premier also Parfait Chunky in the colorway of Toffee for the skin tone for the nose and the hands. So this is a uh, chenille yarn right here. This Parfait Chunky is chenille yarn. So you don't have to use velvet yarn either. Um, even if you want this kind of fluffy look, chenille yarn will do the same thing. Um, it might not be as shiny because the the uh, retro velvet, um, like the velvet yarns are more shiny. Um, but the, um, oops, sorry, <laughs> the um, Parfait Chunky or any chenille yarn um, is going to give you that squishy, chunky, uh, bulky yarn kind of effect. Um, and then I used Big Twist Cuddle in Winter White, which is a sparkly white. My camera or my um, light really messes with this. Let's see. You're not going to see the sparkle very well. I hope if I was actually focusing on the sparkly yarn and not the beard. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can get you guys. think that's about as good as it's going to get, but that's okay. I'm going to insert some pictures anyways, so you guys will be able to see the sparkle and everything with them. So um, those are the yarns that I used, and I used a 4.25 millimeter hook. Um, that's because I used a bulky yarn, but okay, the velvet yarn and the chenille yarn, um, even though they're classified as bulky yarns, uh, I don't really treat them as bulky yarns because... Um, I want my plushie to be tightly stitched and not have yarn showing through and stuff. And they're very like compressible, you know. So I use a 4.25 uh, millimeter hook when I did mine. That's single stranded on um, parfait chunky or like chenille type yarns um, or velvet yarns, that type of stuff. Um, so I've been using the 4.25. You are welcome to use whatever you want. Um, you can probably get away with using a bigger hook because these types of yarns will fill in those holes for you. Um, so it won't look so gappy, but you're going to get a more solid, sturdy kind of plush with no gapping if you use a smaller hook. So I used a 4.25. If you are making this, and you don't want to use um, velvet yarn or chenille yarn or you don't have them and you want to use like worsted weight acrylic yarn, um, I would use personally a 3.5 millimeter. So that gives you guys an idea to make it a little more accessible for you, but you can just play around with it. What I recommend doing is looking at the ball band and then going down a hook size or two um, and then just kind of playing with it and seeing how your tension works with that yarn um, to give you nice tight stitches, but to stitches that you're still able to do um, that aren't so tight you're like breaking off your hand. Um, and let's see. Yeah, so I will show you guys my little um, my little planner that is just specifically for Gnome of the Month. And I have, these are the details. So if you would like, to screenshot this if you're interested in trying to replicate it um then you can screenshot this and like i said i will have the um crochet along playlist linked in the description 
And then here is was my little doodle um, before I made my pattern uh, of what I wanted him to come out like. And I am really, really happy with how he came out. He came out exactly like I was hoping. Um, and when I was making the pattern or working up the pattern to do my crochet along, um, I did do modifications as I went, but I didn't show the modifications to you guys because I wanted you to see what you're supposed to do and not me trial and erroring a little bit. So what I did was I would sort of start, start working it up and then I'd be like, okay, this is going to work or whatever. And then I would record it for you guys. So it was a really fun process actually to create the pattern while also doing a crochet along and it came out really, really well. So I hope that everybody loved the gnome of the month this month. And I hope anyone who did the crochet along liked the crochet along. Um, and I just, I'm super, super happy with this and super excited to see all of your guys' gnomes. So since today is also the last day of the month, I want to wish you all a happy new year. Um, I would love to hear what you guys are doing for new years. If you have any fun plans, um, hubby and I aren't going to do anything super spectacular. Um, we bought a bottle of sparkling white grape juice. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever had those before. They're just like welch's or whatever brand that you get they do like sparkling juices and it's kind of a tradition of mine um because ever since i was a kid we would get a bottle of sparkling white grape juice to have and it was you know to replicate having a bubbly drink like champagne or something on new year's so we would always have the sparkling white grape juice on new year's and now as adults um my siblings and i we still all get sparkling white grape juice um and then when we're together we all have it together and when we're we're not together then we send pictures of us like hey sparkling white grape juice like it's new year's um and we've also like sometimes uh when we're together and we do like more of a like a party kind of thing we'll buy like an assorted amount of flavors like a sort an assortment of flavors um and try like you know the sparkling uh cider and stuff like that um and I don't mean like the cider like hard cider I mean like they make like cider flavored ones and stuff um so it's like a little fun tradition but other than having that little bubbly uh drink at midnight probably not going to do anything special um hang out around the house and play games or watch tv or whatever it is that we end up getting out to um but let me know what your guys's plans are and if you have any cool new year's resolutions or plans for the new year um and what did you think of 2022 are you happy with 2022 is it the first year since the pandemic that was actually like a semi good normal year? Or was this like just more craziness to add on to like all the years of the pandemic weirdness? Let me know what you guys think and stay tuned because we're about to go into Nomi montage. Thank you guys so much for sending in your gnomes and I hope you guys enjoy the montage. Love you. Bye. So first off we have my gnome. And I'm just inserting some pictures so that you guys can get a better look at him. This was my makeshift photo shoot setup. <laughs> so here he is from the side and kind of close up. You can see the tag. You can see all that texture. And here's kind of a zoomed out side view. You can see the shape of the hat and his hands and all that side view stuff. And here he is again from the front. So super soft, super squishy. I absolutely love him. And that is how my gnome came out. Here's like a little sideways angled view. <laughs> and moving on. And here is Julie Ann's adorable gnomes for November and December. Because uh, she didn't get to get her November one in. And they are both so cute. I absolutely love the little um, braided ponytails on the November gnome. And then we have this adorable gnome that Sharon made. I love it with the little star on top. And he looks so perfect. Like, look at his little brushed beard and everything. That is amazing. Great, great, great job. And then she actually sent in a picture of her son's diamond painting that is also a gnome, which I absolutely love. And apparently he never finishes anything, so she is so proud of him for finishing this. Awesome job. Next up is Andrea's makes, and look how cute. For one, we can see a Santa gnome. I freaking love it. 
but also just look at these other adorable makes. Oh my gosh, I literally love all of them. I just want to scoop them up and run away with them. They are so cute, Andrea. And then Cindy over at Moon Spirit Art by Cindy Hill made these adorable little makes. She ended up doing two Santa gnomes and sold one. So she has been a busy, busy bee. And she made the cutest little things. Look at this snowman with his little nose adorable and then here is a little um pile of adorable adorable makes absolutely love them great job cindy and you've seen these already in community spotlight but any of the community spotlight uh posts with the gnomes they're totally gonna get to be in the gnome of the month video too so here is ulf the wolf viking gnome that irene made and he is so adorable i love him Look at that intricate beard with the braids and everything. Wow, I love that so much. And this also has a little moose in it, so honorable mention to moose. <laughs> and here is her Christmas gnome that she made in July. Christmas in July, I love it. Um, and I had to include him, of course. And Denise M. sent in this pocket gnome tutorial um, adaptation that she made which came out so stinking cute. She said that she put a keychain on it so her granddaughter can hang it on her backpack. I love that. Great job, Sneeze. And then we have Amarina's makes and Amarina has a channel called Amarina's Crochet and Tell. And she made these adorable gnomes this month. She has been busy making gnomes this month. Look at the little shoes. So cute. So she sent in like four gnomes. So she's definitely been busy, busy, busy. And look, a little tree to match. Oh my gosh. I love it. So cute. So, so cute. And Lincoln agrees with me. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> he agrees. He says, cute. Okay, so Rosie said that she was watching the last video and realized she had made a lot more gnomes since then but that she didn't take pictures of all of them before giving them away. So here is some pictures of her most recent um, pocket gnomes. And I'm also going to include some of the pictures of her pocket gnomes from last time because they were Christmas too. And I just absolutely love them. She has made like a metric ton of these adorable pocket gnomes and I love them so much. Next we have Teresa Moore's gnomes and she made this Pampino Patterns uh, gnome from Etsy and it is so cute. It is a Christmas tree gnome and then we've also got another Pampino angel gnome. How adorable are they? And then Marsha sent in her first gnomes which are Muffy Corn gnomes. How amazing are these for her first gnomes, you guys? Last but certainly not least, we have Trudy's gnome. So this month she made a gnome for her sister for Christmas and it came out so cute. And it is a pattern by Muffy Corn on Etsy. Absolutely love it. Great job, Trudy.